asemu ndu tama yantu abani wede na di bcsc enkuti mu nkire hu Godfrey Dambe has been caught red handed in the unethical practices he's been engaged in over the years and how he seeks to wrongfully convict people in this country and it appears that any time the NDC raise the issue they will say bring your evidence today we have evidence to that effect you see what is happening especially in relation to Godfrey Dami it's a serious indictment on our justice system what happened to the legal principle that lets justice be done even if the heavens fall today there are no more men of conscience in this country we don't have people speaking up and i am very scandalized and angry as a member of the Ghana Bar Association that Godfrey Dami is a leader of the bar Godfrey Dami should be leading the chop bar not the Ghana Bar Association because the man has breached every ethical rule and you see here we are not talking about allegation he has called him to question the integrity of the court and the justice system including the integrity of a supreme court judge how of a, a supreme court judge how come there honey is we we are in a very deep mess as a country you see this thing is not the ndc against the office of attorney general and that is where Godfrey Dami wants to reduce the discussion. The NDC has not made any allegation against Godfrey Dami. So Godfrey Dami should not think that he can hide under political debate and then get NPP people to be speaking for him while NDC people will be speaking against him. This is not a partisan issue. This calls into question the fear every citizen should hold. If you have a case against the state where the attorney general will go and meet Supreme Court judges, compel witnesses to come and testify so the attorney general can win a case. But Fredami is behaving like a child who, when he was young, was bullied. So grew up with a lot of inferiority complex. And so having had access to power, he cannot tell what the limitations of law placed on him are. And I'm, I'm terribly sad and terrified, not only as a Ghanaian, but also as a practicing lawyer. When did we descend this law? How did we get here as a country? How far are we willing to go to do the dirty works of the NPP and Mr. Parachiks? How long are we or how far are we prepared to go to convict innocent people for political gains? It matters not what the rules are. It matters but, not but what remember, the laws but, are. Remember, even though um, uh, the third accused have said, made allegations in court. Please. He has not given us. of all, and he has not given us. So I'll forgive you. Uh, no, but he has not given us. Please. The third accused has not made any allegations. The allegations, are they not? <laughs> what, For what now, he said it in court, but he hasn't given us the proof Who yet. Who told you? Did he give you the proof? Who told you? Did he give you the proof? When a witness is in the box and the witness makes a statement, those statements are not called allegations. What are they called? They are called testimonies. Okay. So the witness has testified okay. and what you read is the record of the court mm. so as we speak today it's on record the testimony on record is that Godfrey dummy held meetings with the accused person at odd hours both in person and on phone compelling the accused to testify against honorable water Forsen. and you see i've heard most of the media people say that, oh, this is an allegation. Godfrey Dami, who his spokesperson, have admitted this testimony. So if I were to even use your words. You say he's admitted? Yes. Yesterday. Oh. On Joy News, Will Buffers, and I will wish I pause here and call him so that he will join and reconfirm so I can proceed. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want him to come and change the story. Let me, let, let me even go chronologically 
when the third accused gave the testimony in court that this is what Godfrey Dami has done, quickly, Godfrey Dami came to release a press statement saying that paragraph two, if you have that press statement, he says that the Republic has never required or desired the cooperation of any of the accused person in the matter in which it has already succeeded in establishing a premier fascia case against all the accused person. Now, first of all, let us be clear that the allegation that the third accused made is not against the Republic. So, Godfrey Dami should not hide under the Republic and create the impression through his press release that the third accused made the third accused made allegation against the person of the Godfrey Dami, not the state. So he cannot hide under, unless he's telling us that he had the authority of the of president the and the states to do what he did. Then he should come and talk. So he should, hi he should not hide under the republic. But it says he, Godfrey Dami. So if he, Godfrey Dami, is saying that he has never... Yeah, but he's prosecuting this case on behalf of the yes, state. Yes, but he's not so the state. Okay, but his prosecutor, that was why when another was president, better. you see, when another was uh -huh. uh, the how do you call it, attorney general, yeah, in the Chikata case, mm -hmm. he filed a charge sheet that he wrote the president versus Chikata. It's never done in practice, I don't know where he learned that. Quickly, the court said that you cannot do the president because it is not the pers president's personal case against Mr. Sashi, it's the state. So we know the state and we know Godfrey Dami. When Godfrey Dami was going to that meeting, yeah. he did not carry so, so his deputies saying, or with, the DPP. With, 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 the, with the case of the Chikata case, mm -hmm. um, having said that the courts clarified to the president that you cannot do it on your behalf as a president. On the behalf, on behalf of the president. You can only do it on behalf of the state. state. Yes. Then it means that anything that Godfrey Dami is doing now should be on behalf it's of the state. It's not anything. Otherwise, Godfrey Dami, so when he goes to propose to a girl, does he propose to the girl on behalf of the state? No, I'm saying that this particular case so I'm is showing you that on behalf of yes, the Yes, but it is not anything that the Attorney General does that can be ascribed to the state. What if it's and especially in relation, when it is illegal. No, no, I'm saying that what if it's in relation with the case he's actually prosecuting? This conduct. Yes. I mean, I think don't ask that question because you finish Dami. By asking that question, you will finish him. And you are now robbing in the president. But the point I'm making is that on 23rd, Godfrey Dami said that he has not met any of the accused persons with the view of getting them to give evidence against the first accused. Then one would think that, oh, this is, this is very true. Then he came to say that, you know what? The Office of the Attorney General has been under enormous pressure, including even one from the first accused, Dr. Atu, forcing himself, but the Attorney General has not yielded. This was a statement on 23rd at a court. Yesterday, his spokesperson admitted that Godfrey Dami met Mr. Jakba in the absence of his lawyer, and in the home of a Supreme Court judge. And in my goodness, you see, this law we practice, eh? it's just like being in the medical field. There are so many rules and regulations. I mean, as a lawyer, even if you see a beautiful woman and you want to marry, and you are the lawyer for the woman in a divorce matter, you cannot marry the woman. Because we impose some ethical obligation on lawyers. There are so many things lawyers cannot do. You, are, you cannot sit, if you are a judge, and be a judge in the case of your own child or husband. And there are policy rationales and reasons why we do that. And the laws as we have, as leader of the bar, Godfrey Dami is presumed to know every provision. In fact, when you go to law school, how you are taught advocacy, you will not even you are made to memorize the, the rules so that as a lawyer you know the do's and don'ts. 
But you see, Godfrey Dami is a man of questionable character. He's a man who wants to get innocent people to jail. So it matters not what the legal obligations and ethical obligations are on him. First of all, let me tell you. He engaged in the professional misconduct and in a criminal act by seeking to meet Mr. Jackba. Why? If you look at Rule 13 of what we call the LI 242 thing, which is the LI that governs the code of ethics or how lawyers should behave, there is a requirement that where a person is represented in law, another lawyer here, the prosecutor, cannot, cannot engage in communication. Mm. Anything with that person without the consent of the lawyer of the accused okay. in this case. But for Dami is telling us that to hell with these provisions. I met Mr. Jackba in the house of a Supreme Court. Now this morning, I've seen that the pro-MPP radio stations are all bringing up the defense of entrapment. I'll disregard all of them. And I'll mm. go to the statement his spokesperson made. Because those people, it looks like one editor just wrote everything for them and they just published. The headlines are the same. The contents of the stories are the same. So I'll disregard it with all the contempt he deserves. But his spokesperson yesterday on Joy News indicated that Godfrey Dami went to the, was called by a Supreme Court judge. These were his words was called by a Supreme Court judge. Then he went to the Supreme Court judge, and then he spoke to Mr. Jakba. And then when he spoke, he told Mr. Jakba, please speak the truth, please speak the truth. I don't want anything from you, but it is just the truth. I want to find out if Godfrey Dami wants it's the just truth. Just having the Supreme Court judge. Have yes, that is what his there? spokesperson said. His spokesperson was the one you should be asking him. And you he have said, a recording he, of it. I'll call. I'll call. He call, said I this. I haven't mentioned him. I, I, I'll Annie, call Annie, him. Annie, but please. he said, please speak the truth. He said yes. <laughs> that is it. And then he said, speak the truth. Yesterday when he was speaking, I was capturing it. So if you like, Annie, let me pause. Call Will Buffer. Let him finish because uh, Dr. Antoinette cannot even believe that this could happen. She cannot even believe, like all of us, we are in disbelief. So please, Annie, let me pause. Let me educate me on this one. Annie, let me pause. Uh, no, call let me ask you, don't force. worry. No, you continue. It, it takes a process to call him, so you, you continue. But let me ask you. You know, there's this issue also that um, Mr. Jakba had spoken to the Attorney General uh, trying to um, maybe call a truce. Mm -hmm. by paying what the nation has lost um, as in the cost of what we have actually... The plea bargain. The we'll plea. come there. I mean, I, not, don't not, muddy not, the not waters. Not necessarily the plea bargain. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that also represents a plea bargain. Yes, that's it. That also represents a yes. plea bargain. But can he also do that I mean, without his counsel? Before we... Because according, I mean, according to the Attorney General's office, they he wrote, can't do that. He wrote that. I said he cannot communicate... Directly? Directly. With a person who is or deal in any matter, howsoever described, with Without. a person who is represented by a lawyer. But what I'm telling you is that Godfrey Dami is telling us something that we should be worried about. That Supreme Court or a Supreme Court judge is in the habit of calling an attorney general to come to his house. How did this happen in our justice system? So even if Mr. Jackman was represented by a lawyer, it is bad enough. You know why? If I were a lawyer for Mr. Jackma, in the presence of a Supreme Court judge, how am I going to say no when I have other cases pending before that judge? Especially when Godfrey Dami is in the habit of meeting judges and communicating with judges ex parte. Recently, you heard the allegation in the affidavit in the Opuni trial that Godfrey Dami had gone to meet a judge in his office. His defense was that he only spoke to the judge about an upcoming program. In the Honorable Rocks in Dafia Mekhov's case, he filed so, an ex parte, an application, a letter, written ex parte, which mm. is forbidden by law, that you will speak to a judge alone without putting your other counsel in the known. He has been doing this 
and securing conviction and judgment in his favor. And today, his cup is full. And so you know what he's doing? Yesterday, his spokesperson, by coming to admit all these criminal acts of an attorney general trying to fabricate evidence with the intention of impugning and getting an innocent man to be in jail so party communicators can be given speaking points on how they are fighting corruption. How who did this to us as a nation? When did we descend so low? Was that not taught by the likes of Kumado and Professor and, and all these judges? What is happening to us? It's so annoying and irritating 